Although 2014 is an uphill battle for growth, there's optimism of the rise in black-owned asset management companies from a low base. And there's now a total of 32 firms which have increased with eight new entrants since 2013. And the 6.5 trillion rent comprises of a small of share of 280 billion rent of these small black-owned companies, which is just a fraction of the larger market share. And recently, Agon Asset Management scooped four awards this year alone of being the best asset management company in South Africa. The awards span from the Excellence in Asset Management and CSI Award, Best Asset Management for 2014, World Finance Investment Management Award, and the Emerging Financial Services Sector Company Award. Mutobi Sisedi is the Chief Executive Officer of Argon Asset Management, and he joins us in the studio to talk about the success of this company. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Colin. What does it take to be an asset manager in such a huge industry and starting from a low base? Lots of sleepless nights, uh, lots of hard work. Uh, I think that uh, the key thing to get right, obviously it's, it's an industry where you're dealing with other people's money. Uh, in running a business, not just in this industry, there are basics that you need to have in place. So your strategy, your operations, that has to be uh, up to scratch. And then you have to go into the operating environment uh, it's a very competitive space. Uh, there are lots of established companies, lots of established brands. You go out and compete uh, with those very entities to try to win. The question is, how do you pitch your business when there are big players who are dealing with millions of rents, or rather billions of rents, and you are just a small starter? Strategy and tactics. <laughs> uh, you've, got to find, you've got to define what is your unique selling proposition. I think that's very important. I think the one advantage we have in an environment that is uh, uh, increasingly appreciative of the smaller asset manager. Um, that's a big plus from a performance generation point of view. Uh, also, you have BE at your tail. Uh, it kind of helps out. Uh, but if you're generating the outperformance, it's fantastic. You, um, you, know, you, have, you, you have a shoe in. The problem yeah. is, what if something goes wrong? You are running 24 billion rent in investments mm. and you have to protect that wealth and you have to grow it so that it must keep on making money for the investor. Mm. I think the important thing to, to, uh, to factor in is that this space is regulated. It's not like you get up and say, uh, tomorrow while I'm thinking about business opportunities that I'm going to, to set up a money, money management operation. So there are qualifications and experience uh, and vetting that the regulator uh, subjects, subjects you to. Uh, so that, that's quite critical. But that said, once it comes to the operations themselves, uh, you've got to make sure that you, you're correctly staffed. Uh, it's a high skill area, so um, getting you the correct people, very important. Uh, also sorting out things such as your investment philosophy. How is it that you're going to extract value on behalf of clients? Uh, and that translates into the investment process. You've got to be thinking about risk management. You've got to be thinking about reporting systems. It's quite complex. There, there's a whole range of things that you need to get right. Uh, but ultimately, you need to be able to give clients comfort that their money is in, is in, is in good hands. Uh, and we spend a lot of time uh, thinking about that. Uh, we spend a lot of time and money executing uh, on, on, on risk management and, and the necessary systems. Now, the issue of building trust mm. amongst your clients, mm. how do you as a brand manage to keep consistently in as far as sentiment and confidence is concerned? Um, well, the one thing, just going following in from your, 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 your previous question, I think the things that you have in place to give confidence are very important. So your systems, your risk management, your people, your investment philosophy and process are critical. And then you have the softer things, uh, which ultimately for me, um, not that this is not important, but very um, uh, uh, or extra important, are your values as a firm. You're dealing with, you're dealing with other people's money. Uh, so there's a fiduciary responsibility. Uh, you're sitting in a steward role. Uh, in effect, so what are the what are the values that you espouse as an organisation, uh, and that's very important. So going out and talking to clients about that, that's quite critical because uh, the relationship you enter into with a client is not just about uh, the investment management agreement or them handing over your money. It's also them feeling comfortable that who we're interacting with is somebody who 
who represents the correct decorum, they have integrity, um, honesty is, is, is quite critical. So all of those things need to be in place. So it's a combination. Most of the lecturers would be asking the economics, accounting and auditing students about uh, the problems and challenges within asset management. Now, here's the question, because mm. I, I believe that most of the students who are watching now could be yeah. interested. Yeah. You started a company in 2005 and all is going well. And you are hit by the financial meltdown where Fannie Mae, Fannie Mae, there was this uh, <laughs> problem within banks yeah. all over the world and mm. there was a recession. What happens then when you are hit with a recession and in the post-recession era, how do you keep on steering the wheel? Okay. Well, if you go back to why we exist, we exist because we caretake in people's assets. And generally, uh, that process is governed by investment strategy. Uh, you're not managing money on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, fortunately for us now, um, not for long because we'll be going into retail soon. Our focus is on the institutional space. The so institutional space, which is pension funds and medical scheme reserves, multi-managers, that tends to be very um, medium to long-term oriented. So when, when the bumps come in the road, uh, you, are, you are cushioned uh, by the strategy. So clients are unlikely to pull out their money because the entire industry is exposed to the same dynamic. Uh, so as long as you're staying within that which you said you're going to do uh, and risk management is sound, uh, there's no need for you to be fretting. So is everything okay now, given that there are global financial challenges? Europe could be hit by a recession. There is tension in the Ukraine, Russia, and there are sanctions going on. And we're just in the post-tapering era in the U.S. Mm. And South Africa is also having growth constraints. Mm. So what do you do in that environment as an asset manager? And going forward, what's going to happen? Um, unfortunately, those challenges are challenges we deal with all the time. Unfortunately, it's challenges that any business in any sector has to confront. The social political dynamics are always there. Uh, all of the economic variables impact across sectors. So uh, it's by mitigating, uh, sitting down and mitigating uh, those risks as a business. So you draw up plans. Um, we hire a lot of skilled people and, and, and their value add to the process or, or uh, to client portfolios is really about understanding mm -hmm. uh, you know, how those risks are going to impact uh, and if you need to be diversifying or mm -hmm. uh, thinking differently from, from a product point of view. All right. Mm. Congratulations once again for mm. the four awards that you have won this year and I wish mm. you all of the best in the future. Thank you very much. All right. Mutobi mm. Sisedi is the Chief Executive Officer of Argon Asset Management and it has been reported that 18 black firms have been operating under challenging circumstances but have been able to demonstrate sterling performance consistently delivering returns ahead of their benchmarks.